When someone brings up the term barn fine car, what do you think of? Because I feel like the average American probably thinks of like a low production Mopar or like first generation Mustang or some one-off Camaro SS. Um, something super low production of like 60, 70 years ago. Which if you are a part of that group, I'm, I can't blame you whatsoever. However, I think as the next generation of car enthusiasts start to blossom, you're gonna start seeing other cars, which it's already kind of happened, right? Like Toyotas and Nissans, you know, older Supras and GTRs and Skylines going up in value quite a bit. And um, I think there's also gonna be another group of vehicles, AKA Hondas, you know, NSXs, the, the Del Souls, the CRX, I think there's going to be another generation of people that just want those really simple Japanese cars. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the one that I managed to pick up. This is my new to me 1998 Honda Civic EX Coupe five speed manual. Let's get into the details. So getting into some quirks and features, as you can tell, I uh, just replaced the brakes both uh, pads and rotors on each side not that they were really bad you can see there was still plenty of pad material but the rotors seemed to be warped like I drove the car and there were some vibrations in the steering and so I figured since we're taking the rotors off might as well put some pads on there as well so new pads and rotors in the front as well as a new set of uh, winter tires because the tires that were on it were like 10 years old and the biggest downside to this car, as you can tell, is going to be the paint. The clear coat looks like it's starting to flake off. From what I can tell, this is all original. You know, back in the day when this car was made, nobody seen it as anything special. So it was just kind of your typical, you know, commuter car, that type of thing. But this thing is, I think, one of the best examples of an EX uh, Civic that you're going to find. If you're not familiar with the Hondas, the EX is the trim package below the SI, which in back in the day, the SI was just the bee's knees, and this is the trim package below that. So this one has um, all the core, or like all the electronical features, so it's you know power windows, does have a sunroof, that works. I'm trying to think, I know the SIs had a like back wing little spoiler thing which looked really good and then matching side skirts like color matching this car doesn't have but everything else seems to be working um, this door handle on the driver's side is broken passenger side is not but this one is trying to figure out how interior wise it's got some rips and tears as far as like mods, I did put a new shifter knob on it just because the old one looked kind of wonky. And this is a nice weighted ball type, ball, ball type uh, shift knob. I, I kind of like it in the car with the red lettering or the red numbers. It goes well with it. It's got an aftermarket stereo, which looks like it's just as old as the car is. None of that touchscreen nonsense. Outside of that, the interior is pretty solid. Uh, the headliner, actually I lied. In headliner is all ripped up that's not that not that special um try to go over everything with you guys the uh, hood is broken not the hood the hood latch the thingy you got to use pliers to pop the hood i've got an obd2 plug in there to try to figure out why the check engine light was on which turned out to be for oxygen sensors because i discovered that this car is missing the catalytic catalytic converter the reason or i discovered that because the muffler that came on the car was just completely rotted and blown out so the exhaust was no good figured i would try to fix it the the piping was so rusted that i couldn't even weld to it so decided a new muffler put on the car this is an oe replacement bolted right up nice and good finish but what I discovered while I was underneath the car is that it's been straight piped. While we're underneath though, it's a good time uh, if I can get that. Frame rails, floorboards, all that looks nice and pretty. Here's a, uh, a back shot. 
Back shot, <laughs> um, a shot from the passenger rear angle, you can see there's no rust on this car really anywhere, which is really, really rare in the Midwest rust belt. I feel like this car at one point probably came from down south, I just can't say for sure. I will show you guys the VIN number if anyone wants to pull up the VIN. Tell me if this car has been registered down south at all. There's, uh, there's your VIN number if anyone wants to do a, uh, a car fax on it. Feel free to look that up, let me know. The reason why I suspect that it was a southern car is because one, it's so uh, rust free. Most of them are all rotted out. This one, not so much. But also the, the clear coat, it looks like, because it's kind of a southern thing, a trend with southern cars, that they, uh, they start to fall apart from the top down and this one kind of seems to be the case. It's got some pretty nice window tint on there. Doesn't look like it's excessively dark. There's no discoloration or any bubbles or anything. So whoever did the window tint, I think did a really good job. Um, what else can we get into? Let's pop the hood and I'll show you another reason why I suspect this car being fairly rare or a, uh, a bit of a barn find. And that is because it is completely unmolested. This is how you pop the hood. That. Ah! Try not to pinch your fingers because you will. There we go. But on this car, everything under the hood is all original. Ta da! Not even a cold air intake on this, guys. That's unheard of with a manual Civic from the 90s. The first thing everyone does is go on eBay and buy themselves a $20, $30 cold air intake. This one still has the original air box. Uh, that battery is not factory that I know. I didn't put it in, but previous owner must have. Uh, headlights have been replaced. Previous owner stated he did that. Um, try to figure out. Rust was super clean, but while we're looking at the front, there is some bubbling going on in the hood. And then the other area that I noticed has a bit of rust is up here at the top. So if somebody were to try to restore this car, I would imagine just clean up the rust on the hood, put a new windshield in it because you're probably going to break this pulling it out. It's not that the windshield is like cracked or broken, but there are a few little rock chips, small little sandblasts. And then I noticed down here at the bottom, the glass, like the two panels are starting to delaminate. That's what causes that. So you'd probably take the windshield out, fix this rust, do that one on the hood, do a complete respray, whoa. And uh, you would have yourself a minty, minty Honda Civic. The reason why I say you would probably have one is this car is for sale. I do have it listed on Marketplace. If you look at my video history, I tend to gravitate more towards like the vehicles that need a lot of work. And I picked this one up thinking that it probably would, but like there's nothing for me to fix on this car. I literally just did brakes, front pads and rotors, and then front tires. That's really it. it. Like, I feel like anything else I do to this car is probably gonna be like butchering it up and turning it into the typic, you know, uh, typical ricer type Honda Civic, and I just don't wanna do that. So I would rather sell this one to like a dedicated Honda enthusiast that's gonna treat it right and do like a K-swap or something cool to it, maybe leave it alone. Maybe just leave it with the, uh, the, the, the single cam engine and just preserve it and keep it going. I personally think I'm better off finding one that's kind of already clapped out, which isn't really that hard to do. Generally, every type of Civic of this generation is, uh, has gone through multiple teenage owners and is completely clapped out so you can get them fairly cheap. Uh, what do you guys think is a fair value for this car? In my area, I personally think um, 2500 bucks is a fair market value considering the clapped out ones are like 1000 to 2000 right? So if somebody wanted a cheaper Civic, they could just go get one of the clapped out ones. If you want a nice one, this is, uh, this is the unit for you. But let me know in the comments, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a great holiday season. Take care.